So I received this rather intriguing packet today. I know what's in it, but I'd like you to experience the opening of it because I think it's something really cool. So let's uh, get started with it. So. This is from a friend of mine in the Netherlands, so <clears throat> near Belgium. And we have some Netherlands newspaper, Hello. Netherlands newspaper, some more newspaper, some Dutch box, very good, a postcard, yeah, I'll read that in a second, here comes the beast, let's have a look, it's a device. Whoops, that will do it a lot of good. Well done, Ian. Drop it and bust it. Very good. Okay, let me get rid of the, the box. And indeed, it is a Nixie powered digital multimeter from the good old days. Now, I don't know whether you can see those tubes in there, probably not. Let's plug it in. And you know, when I was getting it out, I busted this on the back. What a numpty. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to screw that back on again and hope for the best. So, we'll do the Dave Jones smell test. Ooh, 1960s. No date on it. I'm sure we can work out when it's from. I'm not gonna open it up, I'm just gonna have a look at it today. Funny plug. I have to find out something for that. Hold on, I'll see if I can find a funny plug to normal plug adapter. Funny plug adapter. Where are you? So, here we go. Weird plug to normal plug adapter. Yeah, also surrounded by lots of crap here. So, let's put that in there. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, please work. yoo It's doing something. DC volts, AC volts. Oh, look at that, isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Wow, I like it. What I don't quite get. Okay. It's very, probably a bit hard to see. Maybe you can just about make out what's going on in there. Some of these switches are a little bit on the shagged outside. So I don't want amps. I want to do some volts. Let's have a look. On the 200 volt range. Oh, it needs a bit of calibration. I wonder if that zero on its own means that everything's cool, but um, it just doesn't have any volts. Or means there's something wrong. Let's get out a bench pad. Oops. My lighting rig just fell to pieces. Maybe a better lighting rig would be in order here. So bench power supply and we will put some volts into it and see if we can measure something. So this is a DC power supply here of course so on we go and I'm gonna try stuffing five Whoa! 
like to have it so you could see everything, but that might not be possible. You might just have to take my word for it that I'm going to put 5 volts into it. Okay, there's 5 volts. So we'll stick it on the 20 volt range, and I suppose 0 means 0. And volts and ohms means volts and ohms. And I have to give it... Yeah, this button's a bit wonky. If I hold it down, 5.1 volts. Let me wind it up, 5.8. So I'm reading 10.3 on the power supply. This is reading 10.5. So this needs a little bit of tender loving care. But it's so cool. So let's have a look at its inside. So taking the top cover off, and look at that. Huh? What do you think? Let's have a see. Let's see if I can work out the date on this. So it's still live, so I shouldn't be. 73. There's some chips in there dated 73. Some of them have no date at all, but it's 74. 141, it's dated 7305. So it wasn't really right on the date. You know, only Dave can do that properly. There we go, we've got some Philips ZM1000s in there, in sockets, plus a three digits, plus a, uh, I guess that's a plus and a minus symbol in there. So. And lots and lots and lots of yummy, yummy, yummy discrete components. This is still live, so I should probably take a bit of care. There we go. Tube's doing something. Nice, nice, nice. I want to just take a look at that gammy uh, range switch. On the other side, so maybe I'll even go as far as to take the power off. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Yeah. So one of the beauties of working with old old uh, instruments like this is you can almost always find a schematic. So they're almost always repairable. So it's a Philips PM two four two two A five IE twenty seven whatever that means made in Holland in the 1970s. Let's just have a quick look, see if we can figure out what's going on with the range switch on the bottom. So. out sort of action going on there the nice firm click so we are definitely back on the road with that one well that was an easy fix wasn't it take the top off and we're good so, and again let's have a look oh you can I don't know whether you can see that but I can see the fine grid on those tubes it is really nice so put it onto the DC range again without electrocuting myself too badly. Let's pop it. Zero. Hey, look at that. Nice work on those crocodile clips. When it fell over, they uh, suffered a bit. 10.6. Two point nine, and then it goes all oh, kind of funny because that's only the twenty volt range. So I'm on twenty one point five, twenty nine point five. So it's largely, largely working. Um, I'll do the AC shortly. 
Let's go for some resistance, shall we? How about some checking some resistance? So put this on the 20 kilo ohm range. Go and get a resistor. Okay, that looks like a 1k resistor, so put it on there. So volts and ohms. Yeah, that's not bad, huh? 0.98. So at the back here, without electrocuting myself too badly again. There are a couple of adjusters there for calibration and zero. So I guess I could have a good old play around with those, huh? That would be quite an interesting thing to do next. But that's next. <laughs>